hey guys welcome to our channel logic to code so in this video i'll be explaining sliding window maximum so i've taken this question from lead code but you could find this question anywhere so as this question is very important so just pay your attention carefully and at the end of this video you'll be able to understand this question so let's move ahead so this is the problem statement so i'm not going to read this problem statement so let's understand this statement with the test cases so this is the input array and a number given in, which is k so that basically represents the window size and you need to tell the maximum value present in each window so let's better understand with this uh, test case with the explanation so let's say we have given this array and this is the window so you need to tell the what is the maximum present in this particular window so here the maximum present is 3 right so now this window moves one step to the right so the window will position itself to this position so the maximum here is 3 so similarly it moves one step ahead and so on and so forth that then the maximum would be what 7 right so now what could be the naive approach for that so that would be very simple you just use a nested for loop and you will able to compute this in o of n, n k of time right so but can we improve this solution right and if you can improve this solution which data structure do you think i am gonna use here so as you can see that from the explanation that this window is moving to the right but at each step there is one element coming to this window from the back and there is one element going out from this window from the front so which data structure gives the flexibility of doing this so the answer is what dq data structure right so for this problem i am going to use the dq data structure so in that i am going to store the indexes of this particular array in the dq data structure and at each step the front of the dq will store the maximum value index present in that particular window and if the current element is greater than the last post element into the dq then we'll just pop the element un un until the this current element will become the greatest element right so you just have to like push the element in decreasing order right so the you could keep the maximum value then the second maximum and the third maximum that way right if the current element is less than the last element we just push it right so if the like current element is less than then push it if the current element is greater than then the pop from the back on, until until we, the this particular current element will becomes the maximum element in the that particular window right so so let's the array given to this question is this so these are the indices of this array and one thing you could observe here is that if we are currently index standing at index i then the value is present before i minus k plus one indexes of no use right because that value will falls uh, beyond this particular window so let's say we are at three so the value before one is of no use because our window consists of element three so this would be the window and the zero will be of no use right so now let's understand this with the snapshot of dq at each time stamp so let's say we are at currently at index zero so in that case we'll just push zero because the dq is empty at that particular time so now we'll go ahead and at index one so the value at index 1 is 3 so we'll just insert 1 but as you could observe here is that so this is the current window but we got an element which value is higher than the previous value so then the 0 is of no use so we just remove this 0 from the front or front and moves this one to the front right so now the we'll go to at index 2 so these are the indices so we'll go to the index 2 and the value present is minus 1 which is less than 3 so we'll just push it to the dq so at 2 we have 1 and 2 in the dq and the size of the dq is 3 because the window size is 3 right so once 
you move to index 3 so the value at index 3 is minus 3 which is less than the previous value which is minus 1 so we'll insert 1 2 and 3 so the synapse out index 3 would be look like this so once you reach to index 4 so value presented 4 is 5 so we'll push index 4 but we get a value which is greater than the previous value so in this particular timestamp we'll just pop 2 and 3 from this DQ and we'll keep only 4 because in this window we know the maximum is 4 so I do keep this 2 and 3 in this particular window right so similarly when you go to 5 the value presented in index 5 is 3 so this value is less than the previous value which is 5 so we'll keep that so once you reach to index 6 so we'll get a value 6 which is greater than the previous value so why to keep these 4 and 5 so just remove that so do the power front and we'll keep only 6 right so once you reach to the end of this array the value present is 7 which is greater than the previous value so we'll pop 6 from this array and we'll keep 7 only right so this is the code for this problem so what it does is that let's see if the window size is 1 then we just return the nums because if the window size is 1 so the value maximum value in that particular window will be the element itself right so now what it does is that it goes through all the elements of this array for i equals to 0 i less than and i plus plus so if the dq is empty or if the dq is empty or the nums of i is less than nums of dq back so in that case we will just push this index so what it says that if the current number is less than the element present at the back of this dq then we push this particular index in the dq right and if the if you are like this is the condition from that i have explained that the value before i minus k plus 1 is of no use so if there is any element present at the front just pop do the pop front right and this condition is let's say if the number is greater than the number uh, present at the back of this dq then just pop back right and pop up back all the elements which is less than the current element and then at the end just insert the index of this particular number and if the i is greater than k minus 1 so just in the result vector just push this dq of front right so at the end just return the result so this will basically contain the maximum value from each consecutive window and you just need the need to return this result so what will be the time complexity of this particular problem so as we are only going to insert an index only once to the dq so the complexity would be o of n so i hope you understood the logic and the code as well so that's it for this video if you like our content make sure to subscribe this channel Thank you. Have a nice day.